Yeah, it is expected to crest soon, as Jennifer mentioned. Right now, WCPO 9 News anchor Tamika Artis is live near Coney Island with a look at uh, how things stand this morning there. Good morning, Tamika. Yeah, good morning to you guys. Uh, where things stand this morning, uh, several feet off the ground. Take a look behind me. Uh, this is just outside of Coney Island on Kellogg Avenue. The barricades are up and they're not allowing any traffic through this area. And goodness gracious, they shouldn't because look at how high that water is. So yesterday we were out here and uh, you could just see just how high the waters have risen since that time. Uh, we're in California, Ohio right now and people are living and working here have gotten somewhat used to the Ohio River flooding from time to time, and this is certainly not nearly as bad as they have witnessed in past years. We spoke with one California resident, Pat Alsep, who remembers the winter of 2018, so not that long ago, when the river crested at 60 feet, homes, cars, and businesses were flooded, and it took days for the water to recede. Right now, if it don't go any higher than it says, we'll be okay. But if it goes an inch in the morning, he won't be. All right, well, residents here hoping to dodge a, another bad situation. It, we're not expecting things to get uh, much higher than they are right now. But again, people always feeling just a bit uneasy whenever the situation here along Kellogg Avenue gets like this. Reporting live here this morning, I'm Tamika Artis, WCPO 9 News.